Now the next most important thing to measure on that is what's known as the cost performance index. To do that you need to know what the costs are. How much have you spent to do that work? Well you can see from the diagram that I'm about to draw that I'm mostly used to seeing very, very miserably performing projects. This is showing the actual cost of that project and it shows that we're spending more money than we plan to spend and also more money than the value that we plan to get out of that. So that's our actual cost and surprisingly enough it's known as AC. So we can now measure what I talked about as being the cost performance index and that cost performance index, some people call that productivity or efficiency and what we're saying is, what did we get for what we spent? Well, what we got was the earned value. So that's our earned value divided by our actual cost. So that's our efficiency or productivity. Now we can use this fella to estimate our cost at completion or the estimate at completion. And it's very simply the budget at completion divided by the cost performance index. If I show you those things dramatically, we can forecast this end time of the project by projecting this, the progress on this, if you like, re-estimated plan, telling us this is our forecast project duration, and this is our slip or gain, and sadly it's usually a slippage, and if you like concomitantly with that, we have an estimate of where our costs are going to go and that follows a curve something like that. So we end up with an estimate at completion and this of course is our budget overrun. And that's really simply exactly what we need to find out about this project. There are some simple objections to this first index, the Schedule Performance Index, and the objection to it is a philosophical one. Why use a ratio of costs or a vertical ratio when really what you want to do is to estimate something in time or horizontally? So in the British Standard they've got a much better version of this uh, that's been around since about uh, 2002 and we talk about uh, the relationship in time. Some people call that the earned schedule. We could say that we would have achieved or should have achieved that earned value at that point in time. We drop that down onto the timeline, it's called OD, the original duration, and our time is known as the time now is the actual time expended. So we have a really good measure now of a new kind of schedule performance index. The schedule performance index on time is called um, OD is calculated as OD divided by ATE. It's just a better version of that one. We can use it in a similar way and it implies that we can do a forecast project duration this time with a subscript T and it's similarly project duration divided by the scheduled performance index time. That's absolutely red hot stuff and just perfect for forecasting where we're going on the project.